Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this new series. Um, this is basically just going to be Let's Play Minecraft but with 54 mods installed as you can see. I might even put some more on if I find anything else. Um, it's, so I'm just basically going to just do a uh, Simicraft town but using lots of other mods as well. Uh, so it should be quite good. Um, I'll just list the mods I've got installed just so you can see what I've got. Um, I'll put a um, links on the uh, description as well if you want to download any or all of these mods uh, so I've got all the, the first the usual forge stuff uh, not enough items instead of too many items because uh, it's got a nice um, uh, recipe mode so you can like instead of spawning stuff in you can just find out what the recipe is uh, what else is build craft um, like pipes and machines and things like that um, I played that a lot same again with uh, industrial craft, that's machinery and uh, various things, um, even nuclear reactors <laughs> and just machines to help you um, craft things. Uh, charge pads, that's one kind of added on to it for charging things that's industrial craft powered. Um, probably won't use that, it's just a chunk loader. Well, I'll just have to see whether I need to use that or not. A few add-ons for industrial craft, like solar arrays. Um, might need a couple of those. Uh, computer craft, that's really, well, it's really geeky, that's why I like it. Um, and it's you can just program c computers in-world. Um, I find it really useful with, with red power, because instead of doing timers and stuff, um, you can just get the computer to send the, the relevant pulses to the relevant machines. It's quite handy, that. Uh, this one added just just the other day to the to the list. I wasn't gonna. I forgot all about this uh, mo creatures. Uh, so I thought I'd throw that one in as well. Um, should be quite nice to have some different creatures crawling around and flying. Um, equivalent exchange. I, I like the the second version of this, but I'm not too sure about this third one. Maybe it just needs a bit more work. But so I might have a play around with that. Extra biomes, highly recommend this one. It, it adds, as the name suggests, lots of extra biomes um, and different types of trees and things like that. So it's quite quite good. It just makes your world look a bit bit better or a bit different from the uh, the normal. Uh, factorization. I've only ever used the barrels in this because they're, they're good for kind of storing things. Um, so I might have a play around with all the other ore processing and things like that. Uh, forestry, uh, again it kind of tells you what it does in the name um, lots of things to do with trees and bees um, not really played around with the bees, I don't know what they really do other than make honey, um, so I might have to play around with that inventory tweaks, that's a very subtle one, you can just like sort your inventory with a middle click and do all sorts of things with it really uh, Iron chest that's written by the, the same person who made Forge. It's really good. You can you can turn a chest, a normal one, into an iron chest which has bigger storage, without actually taking it, the stuff out and then gradually upgrade it to a, like a diamond chest which has tons of storage. And again, you don't have to take the stuff out, break the chest, and remake it. You can just do, upgrade it right there in place. Very handy. Uh, Mistcraft. Um, might have a play around with that. It's good for like um, teleporting places really quickly um, uh, uh, in the same world rather than different dimensions. So lots of good stuff there. Uh, Portal Gun, that's a very similar one. If you played the game Portal, you'll know exactly what that does. Uh, it's just handy to to get somewhere inaccessible. I, I use it a lot in uh, in mines if I need to get into a, like a hole somewhere that's hard to get to. You can just like jump through a portal to get there. Uh, railcraft, that's more than just rails, it's um, there's some uh, liquid storage tanks. Uh, you probably saw the one in uh, preview that I uh, uh, uploaded. Um, so quite useful stuff that. Uh, probably not use the rail stuff until later on, until we actually need a railway. Uh, Red Power, probably my favourite mod of all time at the moment. Um, as you can see, it's eight child mods as well. It's it's a big mod if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's basically this world generation um, volcanoes, uh, lots of 
um, like ores and things like that. Uh, there's machines to do various tasks. Um, there's wiring, uh, lighting as well. That's quite good. Uh, you can lots of different coloured lights that you can switch on and off um, to sort of indicate what machines are doing. So it's quite good. Lots of stuff in there. So you'll see a lot of that. Uh, Simucraft. You might have heard of that a bit on this channel. Needn't go into it any more. <laughs> Uh, Steve's Carts, I used to play a lot of this, but uh, I haven't really played around with the new version where you can like um, build module kind of carts, so you can like, custom make them. So I'll have a play around with that. Uh, thermal expansion is a bit like industrial craft, only I think the machines are a little, a little bit better. You can configure which side things go into and come out of, uh, so really customise it and the, the machines don't break when you hit them either they, or, they, or they don't explode either so I, I think I prefer this compared to industrial craft now um, lots of good stuff in it um, this is those three there are the uh, wireless redstone it's if you it's good for remote switching things on and off like if the if you've got sort of a machine running a mile away you can just have a have a switch to switch it on and off um, where it's convenient that's what I use it for mainly and Zycraft, this is um, this is kind of like a mod in in progress, I think. Um, at the moment, it's uh, some very nice looking ores, very pretty and glowy, and uh, you, you can you can craft um, building blocks in in um, out of them that look really nice, animated textures and all that. Um, but it's going to be like a tech mod, I think, with lots of machines and pipes and things and lasers as well. Um, just had a look at uh, what he's working on at the moment with the power transfer lasers anyway that's all the mods um, like I say if you have a look in the description you can download I think I've got a link for every one, every one of them now um, another way you can download them instantly because if you download all these and uh, install them you get a lot of ID clashes I've uh, kind of tweaked around with the config files to get all these to work um, so a nice easy way is if you download Feed the Beast launcher, it's just like a launcher for Minecraft, and then select the Direwolf 20 pack and it will download, install it for you. Dead easy. And basically everything that I've got on here is in the Direwolf 20 pack. In fact, Direwolf 20's got a few more mods that I haven't got installed. So that's a really easy way, way to download all these mods. Um, I think everything's in there apart from Mo Creatures and obviously Simucraft. Maybe I can talk him into including that. <laughs> so let's get going. Uh, single player and create world. Let's play. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I'll leave the generate structures on. Default world, no cheats, no bonus chest. Um, yeah, that should do see what we get. So I'm basically just going to build a, a Simicraft town but using lots of other mods at the same time. Here we go. Do I want to run it? Um, yeah, okay. Welcome to Simicraft. Right, let's see what we got. Uh, snowy biome. Let's have a look on the big map first. That that looks quite interesting over there. There's uh, that's a I think it's a kind of red cobblestone that comes with biomes. Um, looks quite nice. You can make like cobblestone and cobblestone bricks from it. Only it's it's a kind of reddish colour. So we'll wander over there. I'm playing in peaceful mode as well, like like I normally do, because. Uh, um, yeah, I just prefer. I, I like to play with the, uh, the the monsters on sometimes, but uh, I find they get in the way when you're trying to build stuff, and then suddenly a creeper comes along, and there goes your house. Can we jump up here? Let's have a look on the big map again. That looks like a waste ground over there as well. That's another biome. Rose Lister has just wandered into the area. My, my first simufolk. She's in the river, taking a paddle. So I'll just have a quick look around before I just find a place to kind of settle down. Don't want it in the snowy biome. Cause 
I mean, with me being peaceful mode, there's no urgency to quickly build a house or a hole in the wall to survive the first night. I was wondering where the mo creatures were. There's there's one there. Is that a dolphin or a shark? I don't know. This looks quite good. Um, quite a good area. Could do with being fairly close to a desert as well, so for the sound. That's a beehive from forestry. I think you need like a something to actually access it because you can't right click on it or left click or annoy the bees. We have to put bees in it. Just have a quick look over this side, see what I think it's a wasteland biome over there. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, this looks good. Turkey thinks so as well. I think the turkeys are new, aren't they? I can't remember them in the old version. <laughs> yeah, this looks a bit barren and like a like a wasteland. Uh, yeah, wasteland biome. And then it's snow over that side. So I think this this. Um, this forest biome looks quite a nice spot. Is it just a normal one? Woodlands. What's that? Is that a lion or? Yes. Oh dear. Sounds really annoyed with me. Well, that looks good. You tend, I mean, you tend to get a lot of fours in the, like, the normal natural caves rather than just digging underground. Yeah, this looks like a nice spot. I think we're very lucky there. Yeah, this looks really good. Just go a bit further south and see what's down there. Sure what that is on the floor. <laughs> it's like you see something and you think, well, what, what mod's that from? <laughs> but it's nice how it all blends together, that's why I wanted to do this series, uh, the way things just blend together really well, apart from the block IDs that I had to change. <laughs> oh, that looks like a volcano as well. That's um, that's generated from red power, and you get to, apart from the lava, um, there's, it's made of uh, this basalt, which is kind of like a dark cobblestone, and you can make bricks out of it as well. Looks rather good. There's a lot of snow around here, isn't there? Let's see what's that way. another lion. Oh, another little cave. Vanilla chickens. I don't know what that is. Yeah, so straight ahead is like a volcano. A rabbit. I love how they bounce. <laughs> they look so cute. <laughs> Don't know what that was. Yeah, this is the the basalt. So it's a bit like cobblestone, only darker. Don't really want that. like a crow. A bit of a flat one this one. I think this is various, various types of uh, volcano. This looks a bit inactive. But certainly mine all this lot. Well, there's a bit of lava at the top there. 
that might flow down. Probably best not build a village just here then. So yeah, let's go back over there. And away from the lava. Picking up lots of saplings. Somewhere near that cave, there's one in here. That might be useful. Fairly flat as well. This looks quite good. Yeah, right in the middle of the, the forest. Start punching trees then. <laughs> That's a very weird noise. Getting wood achievement again. about 10 or 12 logs yeah this is the uh, while I think about it as well I'm just going to oh it's already in there this recipe mode I'll just quickly show you that it's just like uh, you click on it and instead of spawning it in it totally shows you how to make it you can also click this button and it'll transfer a kind of ghosted image of that onto a, a crafting table so it's very useful because I've got a lousy memory when it comes to remembering recipes. I think they're all new. Look at all those. <laughs> Not sure what they're from. Weird. Anyway, yeah, lots of stuff to play with. First crafting table. Um, let's put it over there. And I'll just make a uh, pickaxe or some tools. How many shall I have? That should do. The uh, wolf has taken an interest in what I'm doing. So I'll have a pickaxe. Um, definitely needed a regular axe. I don't need a hoe just yet. Maybe a spade as well. Complete the set. <laughs> don't need a sword. Alright. See if we can get some iron or something. Where was that? Actually what I'll do while I'm here I'll just make a uh, waypoint so I don't get lost. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Because it's getting dark. <laughs> and I've got no cold at all. Where was that cave? Hmm, maybe not that way. Ah, I found the cave. And some coal. Right, you can see what I'm doing now. <laughs> Could do me some iron tools pretty soon. The wooden ones aren't very good, are they? So we'll look further in. Yeah, some iron. Can you iron? No, you can't do that with those, can you? I'm not sure what that is. I think it's Zycorium from Zycraft. A lot, lot of those tend to glow a bit. Oh, is that it? Oh, I thought it was a bit deeper than that. So I might dig that way, looks quite good. Just go and make some uh, cobblestone tools. Stick some lighting down. Should have marked that um, that mine. I think it's over here. Yeah. 
Oh God, <laughs> scared me. <laughs> Should we be able to get this now? Oh yeah, quite a bit of it. See what that was. Where is it? Oh, aluminium. Not sure what mods that's from. Yeah, that was aluminium as well. Let's dig down. We're only at level 59, so we're not going to find much here. That looks like copper. Use a lot of copper in industrial craft um, wiring and um, I think in red power. Can't remember now. Yeah, I hope you can see what I'm doing now. <laughs> I'll probably cut a bit of uh, the mining out because it's a bit dull. Uh, unless I find something really exciting, of course. Oh, what's that? That's that's um, from Zycraft, I think. Yeah, that's better. I can see what I'm doing now. Um, I think I can mine this with stone. Achievement, Zycorium. It's very pretty. <laughs> I don't think it actually does anything yet. Uh, Light Zycorium, other than look nice. I think I saw some, yeah, some red stuff there as well. Might as well get one of each colour. I'll find out what it does later. Ooh, there's a light down here. A uranium. I don't plan on doing any nuclear reactors, but I don't know if I can get that with. Probably need iron for that. Some more shiny stuff. Oh, there's lots of down here. That was a crystal. <laughs> quartz crystal. I think quartz is coming into vanilla Minecraft, isn't it? Let's get some of the green stuff as well. We'll get something useful in a minute, hopefully. Like that. I think that's tin. Where was that? Tin, yeah. Now that's useful. Do all sorts of things with that. And this is appetite. We'll get some XP for it as well. Um, from forestry, um, a bit fertiliser with it, I think. And this stuff, ruby. Oh, it looks like I'm going to need iron for that. Might just be able to get it. You can make tools that uh, out of this stuff that's just as good as diamond. So it's worth getting. Oh, looks like it's broke. I'll come back for that when I've got an iron. Yeah, we'll come back down here. Get some more wood, I think, and uh, build the first Simicraft house. Get some rent coming in while I'm busy down here mining. Hopefully I can find my way back. <laughs> How was that? That was there. Uh... That sounds weird. Sounds like somebody burping, doesn't it? Right, just gonna get some more wood. And I can start building houses. Yeah, that's quite a bit of wood. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Cobblestone, some copper and tin. 
and of course iron. Right, uh, let's make a building constructor. And probably need some more chests. Well, some chests I haven't got any yet. what I need. Probably some more wood. Um, let's see what we can build. Starter home. There's a non-wall starter home. That might be probably the best. Where shall I start? About here. Simu craft building constructor activated. Rose Lister. Storehouse's garage. <laughs> Not seen that one before. Yeah, I think that's the one. Oh yeah, it's one down on that one, isn't it? Um, just to fire her for a minute. Sim U craft building constructor activated. That's the one. So three planks, three stacks of planks, and, and some dirt. everything I've got in there. But yeah, probably gonna need some more <coughs> blanks. I was hoping that I'd fling that chicken off then when I did that. <laughs> Might be enough wood. Let's get some other bits. Well, I think there's a load of stuff, like a load of free stuff in, the, in this house as well. Bit cheating, I know, but I know just 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 not to cheat. I'll make my own. Furnace. I'll have a look at how what you do with these crystal things. I think they're just decoration blocks, but uh, um, yeah, I'm not sure how to what to do with them craft-wise. <laughs> yeah, there's the, like a furnace, or a couple of furnaces. No, one furnace, and yeah, chests and bed. That'll do. I've just picked up some flaxseed. Um, that's from Red Power. Um, you can make string from it, which is going to come in handy, I think. Because, um, like playing in peaceful mode, there's certain items that's hard to come by, really. Uh, string is one of them. I mean, there's dungeon loot. That you can find it there, but uh, other than that, you don't. Same with bone meal as well. Um, you don't get a lot of bone in peaceful mode, <laughs> if you'll excuse the expression. Um, so you need like white dye um, for red power. I could probably do without it though, or find a way to do without it. Replant a few things. Yeah, these torches are a bit backwards. <coughs> Get 
getting dark again already. Probably not finish this then. Yep, not finished that. It's a weird sound they make. <laughs> So we can plant a few more trees. Oh, 22 saplings here. Just throw a few of these down. That'll do. 